Beloved, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Felu Mashesan, the host of Living by Grace. I believe that one of the greatest gifts that the Lord has given us as men is the gift of grace. The grace of God. The grace to live a life that is truly full, a life that is rich, and a life that is empowered to do great and mighty things. A life that is peaceful, a life that is rested in the finished work of Christ. I thank you that you are joining me today and several other members of the family of grace all over the world. I'm assuring you by the grace of God, you will be blessed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Welcome back. Before we go into what the Lord has for us today, let's take a moment to pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, I thank you in the name of Jesus for what you have done in the past. I thank you, Lord, for what you are presently doing in our lives and in our world. And I thank you, Lord, for what you are set to do. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. And thank you for our restoration unto the path of destiny fulfillment. Father, thank you. Concerning today's message, concerning today's transmission, Lord, I pray, let heaven open and let grace come upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Before I introduce our topic today, I'd like us to take the scriptures together. The scripture for today's reading is taken from Matthew chapter 9, from verse 27. Matthew chapter 9, from verse 27 to 30. Just three verses. Matthew chapter 9, from verse 27 to 30. And I read, and when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, The son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yes, Lord. Verse 29. Then touch ye their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. The summary of this text that we've just read is, two blind men knew about where Jesus was. They came to him. And the Bible said when they got to him, they told him what they wanted, that they wanted to receive their sight. And the Bible said Jesus asked them, do you believe that I can do it for you? And the Bible said the two men said, yes, they believe. And the response of Jesus to them was, according to your faith, be it done unto you. And the Bible said instantly they were healed. Instantly. Today, for a topic, I would say the topic of today's exhortation is according to your faith. But it's actually going to be an interactive session. You will be praying and I will be agreeing with you. And according to whatever you ask the Lord, in faith, the Lord will do for you. But before we go into that which the Lord said we should do today, Let's talk about the phrase, according to your faith, be it unto you. Another way we can render that phrase is, be it unto you, according to your faith. Be it unto you, according to your faith, let it be unto you. A few lessons from that. Number one, it says, it means, that what you become as a man, what you become as a man is going, to be, is going to be according to your faith as a spirit. Your being as a man, your being as a man, what you will be, what you are as a man, 
what you are as a man today is according to the faith you have as a spirit being. What you will become after today as a man is going to be according to your faith as a spirit. He said, be it unto you according to your faith. Be it unto you. The you there is, be it unto you as a man, visibly. Be it unto you as a human being, according to your faith. By the Spirit, we exercise faith. And according to our faith, our outward life, our outward life takes shape. As you are listening to me, the realities that you see in your life today is the outcome of the belief of your spirit. Permit me to remind you again that as a man, you are a spirit that is living on earth as a man. You are a spirit that is living on earth as a man. So humanity is an expression of your spiritual identity. So God gave us, God gave you, God gave me life on earth. Being a spirit, God gave you an eye. Life on earth as a gift that we should use to express our spiritual identity. So this scripture is saying, what your life as a man will look like is going to be according to the belief of your spirit. Be it unto you according to your faith. The your there is according to the faith that you have as a spirit being. Now concerning the faith that you have, it is either based on what God has said about who you are. So your faith is either according to the word of God. The things you believe as a spirit man is either what the Lord says about you or what the situation you find yourself and the people in that situation are telling you that you are. Remember, that in the book of Romans, the spirit of the Lord by the mouth of Paul says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word. So the word, the sentences you hear, the literatures you read, the news you listen to, the conversations you participate in, the group you belong to and the discussion of that group they are the resource that your faith is derived from. You are a spirit and then based on the information that you have access to, you develop faith, you develop belief. Now Jesus is telling you that the experiences you will have in life as a man as a father, as a mother, as a student, as a politician, whatever you are in life, wherever you are in life, the experiences of life that you will be having, whether you will win or you will lose, whether you will get help or you will not get help, whether you will heal from that sickness or you will not heal, whether you will die or you will live, whether you will get married or you will not get married, whether you will get pregnant or you will not get pregnant, whether you will get that money to pay that bill or you will not get that money, whether you will get help in your times of need or whether you will not get help, the experiences of life that you have in any circumstance or situation you find yourself, is according to what you believe as a spirit. The state of your spirit, 
the expectations of your spirit, the hopes of your spirit, that is what you are going to manifest as a man. The outcome of your life does not answer to your hustle. The outcome of your life does not answer to your strength. The Bible says that much in Ecclesiastes. When he says the race is not for the swift, meaning the person that will win is not usually the fastest. The person that will succeed is not usually the smartest. The person that will have enough to eat and be satisfied is not the one that has the best knowledge. He said, time and chance is what determines it. Believe me, brethren, Jesus, in the text we read today, in that, few, in that phrase, summarized the secret of each one of us' life, whether believer or non-believer, but especially we that are believers. The outlook of your life is determined by the outlook of your spirit. Let's go over the test again before we go into what the Lord asks us to do. Two blind men, meaning two people who have not been able to see in their life the blessings of the Lord that surrounds them. And that may be like you. You know because you have dreams, you have desire for good things. But the only experience you have of good things is only in your dreams. Reality-wise, you can't see those good things around you. You are like a blind person. A man that knows what is good, but is not able to experience them, we can liken him or her to a blind person. So these two blind people came to Jesus. And they said, Lord, we will like to experience in reality the things that we know the Lord has blessed us with. And Jesus asked them, why did you come to me? They said, because we believe that you can help us. And he said, be it unto you according to your belief. This day, I will be praying for you as the Lord leads me to pray. And the Lord that is going to be leading me to pray is asking you, to believe that everything that it will inspire me to pray for you about, whichever one of them pertains to you, believe that for the Lord to be speaking about them this day, it is because the Lord has attended to them according to how I speak about them. If you believe, it will be unto you. Accept the word of the Lord that will be coming from my mouth in the place of prayer. Has been spoken to your spirit man for you to know that that's what God has done for you. And every situation that is contrary to the word of the Lord that you are experiencing, as the Lord addresses them through me, as you believe, you will experience within 24 hours, you will experience a supernatural turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So before we pray, there's a prayer I want you to quickly pray with me. Because the Bible says the prayers of a sinner is an abomination to God. So if you are going to join me in this exercise of faith, the first prayer I want you to pray is the prayer of asking God for forgiveness. You need to clear your table before the Lord of any reason. Why is the grace of God 
that has come to set you free will not be able to set you free. Or you will not be able to receive his salvation. Because I'm persuaded that grace is come now. But what I do not know is, can you receive help? If there be sin in your life, you may not be able to receive this help. So I'd like you to turn to the Lord and pray the simple prayer of asking the Lord for forgiveness. Let us pray. Say with me, say, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, for any record of sin that I have before you, please forgive me for all my sins. Father, forgive me, I pray in the name of Jesus, for every sin that I stand before you now guilty of, whether by commission or by omission, whether by thought or by feeling or by deeds, Father, forgive me my sins against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for hearing my cry for forgiveness of my sins by you and thank you for forgiving me. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my life before you this day. By the power of the blood of Jesus, Father, let my sins that speaks against me before you, let my sins be washed away in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Now we are ready to pray. I will pray for you as the Lord leads me. And then pay attention and say amen. Let us pray. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for the instruction you have given me today to pray for your people in the name of Jesus as your servant. And Lord, today, I stand in your name, Lord, to pray for your people. Father, I thank you because you have always answered me. And I thank you, Lord, because you will answer me again today. I thank you, Lord, for every issue that I'm going to be led by your spirit to pray about. Thank you for every issue that I pray about, you will answer. Because there are issues that you have already done for them. I thank you for all of my brethren that will be receiving help from you today concerning areas of their life that you'll be speaking about. Father, I pray as the word goes out from my mouth into their life, let there be performance in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is listening to me, that is experiencing demonic oppression, any kind of it, anyone that is hearing me, that is under satanic attack, in the form of barrenness, satanic attack, in the form of delay, satanic attack, in the form of affliction and oppression in the dream, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. By the blood of Jesus, I deliver you from the powers of the satanic forces that are attacking you. The door of fruitfulness that satanic forces have closed in your life, I command them open now in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of stagnation that has been released into your life, that has held you down and held you bound. I bind that spirit and I cast it out of your life in Jesus' name. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is hearing me, that is having attacks in the dream, all kinds of attack, making love in the dream, hitting in the dream, being beaten in the dream, being harassed in the dream, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power that is behind the oppression in your dream, I bind that power and I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray the blood of Jesus upon you. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, I put the word of the Lord upon you. That from today, let no one trouble you again in Jesus' name. I put the word of the Lord upon you. That from today, the mark of the presence of the Lord is upon you. Let no power, let no persons, let no system oppress you again in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is in your life that has opened your life up for these powers to oppress you, that thing, by the washing as of water with the blood, I remove it from your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free. I say I set you free. You are free from the reason behind the attacks. And you are free from the powers behind the attack. And all the consequences of the attack. I set you free from them too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name. I set you free in Jesus name. Amen. I pray for anyone that is listening to me that is sick in his body. Whether it is called a terminal sickness. Or it is called a sickness that will require a life support system. If you are hearing me and you have a terminal sickness in your body, if you are hearing me and you are living by a life support system or you are living on what I would call life support drugs, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the demon that is behind infirmity, the spirit of infirmity, I bind you in this life in the name of Jesus and I cast you out. Every spirit of infirmity in the life of my listeners right now, I bind you and I cast you out in Jesus' name. I speak to the spirit of blindness. Everyone that is hearing me now, that is experiencing deterioration in your sight, I bind the spirit of blindness and I cast it out in Jesus' name. I speak to the spirit of cancer. I speak to the spirit of fibroid. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose your hold upon these people of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the spirit of arthritis. Anyone that has a blood condition, anyone that has a heart condition, anyone that has the problem of accumulation of fat, hypertension, high blood pressure, I bind the spirit of infirmity. I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I come again the spirit of insanity. I come against the spirit of insanity. Anyone that is hearing me now, you are beginning to hear strange voices asking you to do strange things. In the name of Jesus Christ, thou spirit of insanity, I come against you now. I bind you in the name of Jesus and I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of stagnation. Stagnation. Everyone that is hearing me right now, that is under the spell of stagnation, marital stagnation, career stagnation, business stagnation, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come against the spirit of stagnation in your life. I bind it and I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, begin to know progress. Accelerated progress. I release upon you the unction to make progress. I release upon you the grace, not only to accelerate, but to accelerate at the speed of grace. Begin to go forward. Everyone that thought they have overtaken you, have never catch up with them. Begin to catch up and begin to overtake them in the name of Jesus Christ. All the ground that you ought to have taken over, all the ground you ought to have covered that you've not been able to cover, receive grace now to take them over in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to them that have not born for children. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of barrenness, I command you, bound and cast out in Jesus' name. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hand that is idle, every hand that is unprofitable, every hand that is unable to find something to do, receive the word of the Lord. I come against the spirit of, I come against the spirit of leprosy. I come against the ties of your hand. Every power that has made your hand unable to find something good to do. I lose your hand from those bounds in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your hand find something to do. Let your hand begin to make profit in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of indebtedness. The spirit of indebtedness. Anyone that is hearing me that is under the yoke of indebtedness in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind that spirit in your life and I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to get money. Money will meet money in your hands. Ability to use money to do great things. Every ability you need to raise money to be able to do great things, I release into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. 
And I pray for anyone that is hearing me that is in need of a helper of destiny. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for you. The spirit that has been scaring away from you, the spirit that has been driving away from you, helpers of destiny, I come against that spirit in your life in Jesus' name. I bind that spirit and I cast it away in Jesus' name. From today, let the aroma of the anointing of the spirit of the Lord, let the aroma of the grace of God begin to ooze from, from your body and let the smell of grace, let the smell of the anointing begin to draw onto you, your helpers of destiny. I call them to come to you from the north. The Bible says the stars of Jesus shone and helpers of destiny came from a far away as east in the name of Jesus Christ as the star of the Lord Jesus or shine. Let the smell of the grace of God upon your life begin to go forth to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. Let your helpers of destiny begin to come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are free. I say you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Every corruption that came into your life and is responsible for you not having experiences of grace, I cleanse them from you with the blood of Jesus Christ. You are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I say thank you. I pray concerning the spirit that is against marital settlement. Any one of you that is hearing me, that is experiencing delay and denial concerning getting married. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against the spirit of delay. I come against the spirit that denies you the marital experience. In the name of Jesus, I bind it in your life and I cast it out. And I release upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the grace to get married. Between today and the end of this month, I prophesy, you shall meet the bones of your bones and the flesh of your flesh by the grace of God. And by the end of this year, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will be happily married and settled in your home in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I say thank you. I speak to the spirit of disunity and disharmony in families. Anyone that is hearing me that has a problem in this marriage, I come against the demon of destruction. I come against the power of animosity in marriages. I bind you and I cast you out in Jesus' name. Let there be peace in your home. Let there be love restored in your home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every stranger that is troubling your marriage, every stranger that is troubling your home, I speak the word of the Lord against the stranger. I bind it and I cast it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. It is well with you. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed for you. Amen. Once again, I want to thank God for the gift of faith he has given you. And I also want to thank God for this opportunity to join my faith with your faith. That it might be unto you according to your faith in every word of the Lord that has spoken. I'm looking forward to hearing your testimony. Because concerning the word that the Lord has spoken through me to you today, if it misses with faith in you, there is no power that can stop your manifestation. There is no reason that can stop you experiencing what God has spoken to you through me today. Whatever the Lord has spoken will not return to him void. He shall accomplish the purpose for which he has sent it. And concerning you, it is the good news that he shall accomplish. Congratulations. I'm waiting to hear your testimony. If you look at the screen, you will see our information. Please get back to me. Share your testimony with us. It will encourage others. Put a call across. Send a tweet. Send a text. And the Lord will surely bless you in Jesus' name. But before I go once again, if you have not given your life to Christ, you need to. Because a life without Christ is a life that is bound for crisis. You will not experience crisis in 2021. It will be from glory to glory for you and your loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ. Until I see you next Wednesday by the grace of God. Keep living under the atmosphere of grace. In Jesus name I pray for you. Amen. Thank you.